Okay. Uh, so far in history, we have been talking about symmetric encryption. Uh, symmetric encryption uses the same key for uh, encryption and for decryption. It uses a shared key. So you have to share it. You have to communicate it with the person that you're communicating with. And you got to do that out of band because it's got to be a secret key. Because if anybody else knows the uh, the key, they can read all your messages. So, uh, hopefully, you know, shared, same secret, um, lets you know which one is symmetric of the two types of encryption. Now we come to the first really interesting change, the first conceptually different form of encryption in 4,000 years. I mean, we started out 4,000 years ago with substitution. Yeah. We added permutation, we, you know, messed around with it, uh, developed it a bit, but this is now different. Asymmetric encryption uses two different, uh, mathematically related, but two different keys. You, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna talk a, more about this in, in detail. But um, you, uh, when you encrypt with one key, the only key that can decrypt the message is the other key. We'll get into that when we when we talk about the details of asymmetric encryption and the uses of asymmetric encryption, because there is more than just keeping information secret when we get into asymmetric encryption. This is how important it is. This is, uh, like I say, this is the first advance, real conceptual advance in encryption, in cryptography, in 4,000 years. So, um, you know, this is fairly important. And uh, around 1976, uh, two mathematicians, Whitfield Diffie and Martin Hellman, um, come up with this idea and a mathematical formula, and this is the Diffie-Hellman algorithm. And uh, we'll, we'll get into the details of it later because the story goes on from here. And remember what I said about cryptography, history of cryptography is the history of really smart people making really, really dumb mistakes. Well, oh, this, this is just a wonderful example of that because Diffie and Hellman shouldn't necessarily get sole credit because a guy by the name of Ralph Merkel got the same idea at the same time. Thing is, Diffie and Hellman got published. Merkel didn't because he submitted his paper outlining this to a journal and it didn't get published. The editor of the journal wouldn't publish it because he thought it wasn't interesting. This is the first conceptual advance in cryptography in 4,000 years, and it's not interesting? This is how short-sighted people can be. And, uh... Oh. But, uh, actually, none of them should get the credit. Because it had actually been invented years earlier, around 1970, by somebody at GCHQ. 
General Communications Headquarters. That's the UK version of the NSA, roughly. Um, these are the, the people who are responsible for communications and for cryptography and cryptology, cryptanalysis of other people's codes and, and that sort of thing. And, yes, um, they... Now, this was a military secret. I mean, you know, it's a military operation. And so they weren't allowed to publish it. I mean, they published it internally, but they, they weren't allowed to publish it publicly and claim credit. Well, you, you, you know, that's fairly standard when you work for military. Uh, you expect that. But also, they didn't use it. They didn't do anything with it because they couldn't figure out what to use it for. I mean, again, this is the first conceptual advance in 4,000 years. This is a new type of encryption that gives you new capabilities, that allows you to authenticate the author that allows you to ensure that uh, information has not been changed. Um, that allows you to do other things with open information. Uh, and they couldn't figure out what to do with it. You know, you just... You just wonder sometimes. So, uh, anyways, like I said, you know, this is, this is really interesting in social terms. And it's, uh, as we will, you know, we will get into it in a lot of detail later on. How you do it. We'll even, uh, go through the mathematics of the Diffie-Hellman algorithm, which is actually fairly simple if you do it with small numbers. But, uh, yeah. Asymmetric encryption. We're going to deal with that a lot. 